Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun video, I want to talk to you guys about a very important topic in the woodworking community and then the woodworking world as a whole, and that is protecting your lungs while you're out in your workshop. Now, your workshop is supposed to be your happy place, it's supposed to be your escape. Woodworking can be a very fun and relaxing hobby, it can also be a very dangerous hobby. I just hope that everyone out there that has a workshop or works with tools approaches them with respect and common sense and in a straightforward approach approach of course never go in your workshop if you are tired or fatigued or even having a bad day because that can just ruin what is a fun and relaxing hobby but what I'm on here today to talk about is the dust mask that I wear I get a lot of comments down in the description box and in the comments of my videos about what mask I use and I try to link it back to people whenever I can whenever I can find the right links to the ones that I have and everything but I've got several laid out here but back when I started scroll sawing at 14 years of age under my grandfather's guidance he was born in 1938 and he never used a dust mask i would never seen him use one if he used one earlier on when he started woodworking he might have done that but I actually took note of it when reading the magazines and articles and we went out and got a bulk pack of those orthopedic masks you know like surgeons would wear you know they're just those little paper ones with the elastic band and that's what I started out with and I don't have one here to show you on camera but then after that you know I just started graduating to more and more robust masks especially when I started spending more and more time out here in the workshop of course right above the camera and I'm not going to try to spin it around and adjust it. I have the Win Air Filtration Unit. This item is less than $200. It has filters you change out periodically. And it keeps the air quality in your workshop very good and very clean. And that's very good for your lungs. That is what we're all about doing here in this video is protecting our lungs. And I'm hoping I'm going to educate you in all of the types of dust masks that are available. But this has three speeds, low, medium, and high. And I can also time it. If I've actually been out here for a long time, I set it on one hour, two hour, three hours to where it'll run after I turn everything off and I close up shop for the day. But it's less than $200. I got mine on Amazon. I think you can also get it through maybe Home Depot or somewhere like that. Just look around and I'm sure you will find it. But I noticed a tremendous increase in air quality once I had this unit above and I wished I'd have got that way back when. Of course, I started doing this more die hard style instead of a hobby style in 2012 when my grandfather passed and then I just started looking into ways to improve everything, improve my quality of workflow out here, you know, just moving everything around. But then I got into the dust mask and the ones that I primarily wear or the one I primarily wear on camera is this one it's called a Rue Runs mask it's a knockoff RZ mask and it has the filters that you can change out periodically and I have used and abused this thing it's starting to come apart and I'm gonna eventually just have to discard it I'm gonna hate to do that but it's just got a velcro strap here and I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see full view of what it looks like but it just goes on like this and I clip it over my ponytail and there we go. Hopefully my voice is coming across, but I can breathe freely. And if I'm wearing glasses or my sunglasses, if I'm outside doing something, it does not fog up the glasses. It's got this little metal clip here that you can adjust to go around your nose. But it's what I wear all the time over at the scroll saw. And that's sometimes when you see in the videos why my facial hair is messed up or why my face is overly red. But that's the one that lives over here at the scroll saw. I have another knockoff one that I got and I think this one was also off Amazon and it don't even have a brand name but it's the same style there you see with the filters and everything and I will quickly put all these on and I haven't wore these it still smells brand new but again it's basically the same kind as that Rue Runs and again I can tell breathing deeply that there's no air coming up to where it would fog up glasses if you wear everything and keep in mind I do have the facial hair and it's still a nice form fit on it but the one the room runs one is the one I primarily wear now if I am doing something this with more toxic materials like MDF or OSB board like with the glues and everything in it I will use a more robust dust mask and this one here I got off Amazon and this one has interchangeable filters too that you just reorder and I haven't looked lately but these filters here these pink pads pop off and you're supposed to I think discard them after every 20 or 40 hours of use and rechange them of course I very rarely work with 
with MDF wood or OSB board and if I do it's usually outside and I'll just wear the basic dust mask I just showed you but if I'm in the workshop I will wear this and I will put this one on and this one's a little bit more in intricate when putting it on but it's got this rubber seal all the way around it again so if you have a goatee beard or facial hair it's going to form to your face and it's got these two clips again I hope you guys can hear me but go behind and again over my ponytail and there we go and it is a snug fit it's a little bit more bulky it does kind of limit my peripheral vision if that makes any sense like looking straight down I can look straight ahead and for scroll sawing this would be good because scroll sawing generates a ton of fine dust but the way I have my scroll saw set up with it angled down it usually always goes away from me in the summer I have a fan on me and again that's another thing to take into account when you're in your workshop during the summer and warmer months like we're in now I will have a box fan going I will have a fan at the door pulling everything out I will have a fan back here on me at the scroll saw so a constant circulation and flow of air as well as the air filtration unit running above the workshop now I have another mask that was given to me by a good friend Friend, Sam at Nighthood Creations who came down and showed me how to use the light burn software as well as a basic way to turn a bowl over on the lathe but these are the most popular for woodworking there you see it's still in the pack he never used this he had an extra one and give one to me and this is probably what I'll graduate to once I finally wear out that Rue Runs one but again it's just got velcro on it and I do believe they sell these small medium and large and again there you see the filters that are interchangeable so that's really cool and I thank Sam for that and it's got a spare filter down in it put that back in his package and you have a nice package there with a little carabiner style clip to clip it on your tool belt or whatever so really really cool now that's the most basic and common things you can use I know if I didn't have a paper mask I would use a bandana back in the day and this is just very common you just fold it in a triangle like a bandit or an outlaw and we will go around and we will just loosely tie it back here and just go as tight as you feel comfortable doing it I'm just going to tie it loosely for video purposes but again here only issue with this mask is it does fog up your eyes. I know I had a friend over here and we were sa both having the palm sanders out and we were sanding something of his and he said, do you have anything I can wear? And I'm like, I'm the only one out here. I don't have another dust mask like I wear, but I got a bandana. He said, can I use it? So I went in and got it for him and he rocked the bandana while we were out here sanding and that was before I got the air filter. Again, that improved everything tremendously and again, these are easily available. I think you can even get them at the dollar stores now. And I have a variety of them, of course. Being a pirate, the primary color for me is black. So really cool. And the past few years that we went through, if you do not have nothing else to protect your lungs, I know everybody has in a coat pocket or something one of these style masks that was ever so popular a few years ago. And these would be appropriate if you had nothing. At least do something to protect your lungs. Again, you know, just two elastic bands here. And there you go. And now these are more of a thinner quality, so I don't know what they would do in the grand scheme of protecting your lungs, but anything is better than nothing. So just keep that in mind. I know as a scroll sawer, the scroll saw generates a ton of fine dust, and I just try to do what I can. Now in the winter, I don't have the fans on, so I might wear a more durable dust mask then or be more in mindful of the sawdust. Of course, if I take stuff outside like the thickness planer or the joiner or something out there and need to do something and it's a nice beautiful day and there's air circulating I will probably not wear a dust mask I probably should I'm just letting you guys know and trying to be as truthful and as honest with you guys as I can and if I can find any of these masks I will leave them linked down in the description box below or I'll find something that's very similar to what I've shown you here on camera I would like to know what you guys use to protect your lungs as well down in the comments below. I hope this has been an informative video. I hope you guys have liked it. I think it's a very important topic to talk about that's not talked about enough in the woodworking community, but really, really cool. That's about all for this one. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember guys, if I can make it 
better do it. So can you. Stay protected out in your workshop. Protect those lungs. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.